All right, welcome to my second ever YouTube video. I realize these aren't exactly videos, they're just captures of my screen. If I'm honest, I have grand aspirations to make these much more entertaining and aesthetically pleasing, but this is just where I am right now. The first uh, composition principle that I mentioned in the last video that we're going to talk about today is called leading lines. And leading lines though I think we mentioned these in class last week, are simply the natural elements, uh, the natural visual elements of the surrounding area in your photograph that somehow, and we're going to look at some several examples of how this can work, how they lead or point to the area of focus in your photo. Um, every photograph you heard me say this when we looked at the very first photographs that we didn't take. Um, you're going to see the feedback that I give you on the photographs that you did take. That what we always want our photographs to do is to, the second we see them, that our eye goes to what we want it to go to. We don't want to have to look around the entirety of the frame to go, well, what is this picture about? And leading lines is one way that can really help us in that. And we're gonna look at a few examples here. First of all, we have this picture of uh, a person walking uh, simply next to uh, uh, a structure of some kind. And we can see that quite literally, the lines of this passage or tunnel um, <laughs> completely point to our subject. Now, if we talk from a photojournalistic standpoint, there's not a whole lot of story in this photo, but again, remember a lot of times we are coupling our photographs with a written story. So um, this could have been taken just for the aesthetics of it, but also it's a very direct way to point to the subject. This is another kind of example that there's uh, not a whole lot of story in and of the self of the photo, but we can see that the sweeping lines of this rail and the shadow of the rail uh, lead our eyes to the subject sitting in the chair uh, in the in pretty much the middle of the photo. From a more photojournalistic standpoint, we'll look at a couple examples there. Um, this is quite a dramatic photo that does tell quite a bit of story, and although it doesn't have the solid line um, that perhaps the first or even second photo do, um, we can see that these gravestones really uh, in certain ways form pointing lines to the subject of our photo which is this uh, person that is laying um, on the ground in front of a gravestone and uh, you can just see that it, it, it gives our eyes a direction uh, points us to it this is a, a photo illustration that is just um, kind of illustrating the point of leading lines this is just a, a person at the end of a sidewalk but we see that just that sidewalk draws our eye from the edge of the photograph up to the subject. And as it says right above there, and, and I think I failed to mention, is that leading lines work particularly well when we have a photo that that line can come from the entire edge uh, of the photo itself, of the frame itself. You'll notice whenever we start taking these photographs and trying to use leading lines, a lot of times my uh, suggestion to you will be that the line needs to be longer. If this, you can kind of see here, if you my mouse arrow here, is that, you know, from this point down is in shadow, and so it's pretty dark. We can still sort of assume, and, and it kind of tricks our eye to have these arrows that the sidewalk goes all the way down, but if our photograph actually cropped here and started here just this portion of sidewalk is kind of short to lead our eye to our subject but to have it come all the way down even though it's sort of shrouded in shadow really helps our eye travel to the subject and that's going to be something to really keep in mind when you start working on your uh, leading lines which is letting your eye travel all the way to the subject rather than it just being a small part of it.